Hello, my name is Jeff Feige. I'm with iGel Technology. Um, and this short how to video is uh, to show how you can set up a Zen Desktop Appliance Mode style environment on the iGel Smart Card. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, bring up the management suite. This can be done locally on the device, but the management suite makes our job a little bit easier. Um, we have four profiles that we're going to be using two that are um, in production. Uh, kiosk mode this profile locks down uh, a bunch of settings on the device to keep the end user from being able to do anything to it um, the smart card login sets the um, company key and the uh, and the um, login with iGel smart card uh, option this company key needs to be the same uh, when you create your smart card uh, otherwise it will not work and the other two profiles that we have are um, um, we have our Zen Desktop 5.6 profile which is a browser session um, that is configured to point uh, to uh, my desktop uh, appliance connector on my desktop delivery controller show my home page and we've locked down some other things here uh, we've turned off toolbars and whatnot um, we also go into the registry, uh, into Sessions Browser, and this number here at the end of the browser, it changes for each session, so yours will be different. Um, we go into App and we um, use Start Maximized and turn off the Tabs Bar. And then we have our Smart Car Company Key and Set Up Hot Key. Um, this company key, the only thing we have set here is the company key so that when we create the cards they are correct. Um, the one thing that I want to point out here is that um, the company key, if it gets lost and you don't know what it is, you will have to rewrite all of your smart cards. Okay, and down here in the Thin Clients uh, tree I've created a couple of folders just to make this how-to. Uh, the create smart card folder has the company key and setup hotkey profile assigned to it. it has a couple other things down here that I have just so I can shadow the device um, and then the production folder has the kiosk mode and smart card login um, profiles assigned to it so we'll go ahead and scan for our thin client and bring it under management and here is our thin client we're gonna go ahead and put it in the uh, the folder I created called create smart card and now it is registered it's in this folder we're going to um, push the settings out to it and we're going to wait for that to complete the device will turn red uh, when the shadowing is enabled and it will come back to green okay now that the device is green we should be able to shadow it just to make sure that everything is up and running there we go I was getting worried there for a minute um, and now we can take over settings from our um, Zen desktop session um, we want to do this because you cannot put a, uh, a UMS profile enabled session onto a smart card so the session has to be local takeover settings from will allow you to take a profile that we've configured and put it on the device as if it were configured locally we'll select only active settings and overwrite sessions so it is now on the device um, we'll do a settings UMS to TC just to be sure and now we should be able to shadow the device and the session will not have auto started um, if the device were to reboot the session would auto start you would have to use the setup hotkey that we created to bring the setup utility up so since we did not do that we'll go ahead and fire up the setup facility and we'll go down here to system or uh, security log on smart card we'll select um, you see the company key here was already set by our uh, profile click on smart card personalization and we'll put um, 
my name in here. I'm not going to require, require a password for the smart card because the Zen desktop session will ask me for a password anyway. And the company key will take care of anyone just putting a smart card in. We'll move the session to the smart card and click on write smart card. As you can see, there it's written. We'll close. We'll close our VNC viewer. And we'll reset the device to defaults. And we'll wait a couple minutes for it to uh, reboot. And then we'll bring it back under management. Well, that should be long enough. We'll go ahead and scan and bring our device back under management. is and we'll put it in the production folder this time all right and um, we will reboot the device so that way it'll get all the settings and everything will be good so the device is rebooted We'll go ahead and shadow. I've taken the smart card out of the device, and you can see, hopefully, if it, uh, it must not be completely up yet. All right, so there we go. So now I'm going to put the smart card in, and you can see here it's going to bring up our. Um, Zen desktop session, browser session, uh, ready for the user to log in. So um, I hope this is helpful. And um, once again, my name is Jeff Feige. Uh, if you would like these profiles, just send an email to support and reference the Zen desktop appliance mode on IGEL Smart Card how to video. Thank you. Have a great day.